How um how was it your first time, your first artist? Pushing pushing somebody out to the it world. It was it, it was I ain't gonna lie, it was it wasn't easy. It was easy. I bought it like I look at it now when I look back and you know, I'd be like, damn, like like all the people he's cool with. And I always make a joke about this, like all the people he's cool with they hanging, they they, they, they didn't, didn't sign them. They didn't want to sign them. Mm. Wow. They didn't see the, they didn't see what I see, you know what I'm right. saying? So I just like, you know what I mean? It took a long time to 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 really break through mixtapes, mixtapes, mixtapes. I bought him on tour bus, you know what I'm saying? He was around, you know, some greats, Jay Z, Kiss Style, Chic, DMX. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I bought him, I'm like, yo, you, you, need, in a you need to get out the projects, stay out of trouble, come see shit, and you can now from you seeing shit, you are gonna have shit to talk about. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you can't stay in the, in the projects and you probably maybe not ever learn what to talk about. Right. You know what I'm saying? People are going to find that super hard to believe that DJ Clue had a problem breaking somebody as talented as Fab in that era when you were the most sought after DJ on <laughs> That's earth. crazy. Like yeah. who, if, if, I'm a, if I'm a rapper and I'm at home watching this and I have visions of being discovered, being picked up by a DJ Clue in any era sounds like Jackpot sounds like yeah, a, but a you lot gotta, of you, gotta, you gotta understand something. I know an executive. But I'm, I'm picturing. Yeah. I'm saying from their perspective, me and Clue and Clue saying, "Yo, you dope." I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm lit. You. I'm it's on. It's like what else so is there I, to do? Is there a disconnect when you when you get to the office? Yeah, because they don't think you know the, the business. Like you know what I'm saying. Like they don't think you like you know the business of it and how to. They didn't realize how powerful the mixtape was, kind of in a way. You know what I'm saying? Mm, like, right. mm -hmm. they had to learn how powerful the mixtape was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and uh, it took Steve Stout to be like, "Yo, I want you to a and off, a and off." Mm. You know what I'm saying? For 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 Interscope, I want to hire you to a and R to be like, I'm like, all right, you want me to come off the street and stop. You know what I'm saying? Do what I'm doing. Like you gotta sign, you gotta sign my artist. I need a, I, you gotta give me a contract for doing that shit and and doing and. And that's so how Fab got his deal. And that's how Fab got his deal. Fab signed with Sylvia wow. though. That was after. We first what you mean after? we signed Interscope first. And uh, how'd you get to Sylvia if he was signed Interscope? He got dropped. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like <laughs> you can't make. No, no, no. Actually, actually, he didn't get dropped. I stepped down from from Interscope, and then I was like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I wanted to uh, take my artist with me. Yeah. Okay. So he now he's now he's a free agent, and I was doing the record for Lil Mo. I'm doing Superman remix for Lil Mo. Yeah. So I do Superman remix. So I go into Sylvia, and, and I'm like, yo, like I'm like, I got the remix, whatever. She was like, yo, she was like, give me a version with and without the rapper, and I'm like, nah. I'm like. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing this remix. I'm like, right. I'm like, you gotta take the remix with the rapper on it. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to break. I'm, you trying but to break so, your artist, and I'm trying to break my artist. Well, Sylvia right. was real, let's, so I know she was with let's, that. Let's, let's meet in the middle. Yeah. Right. So you know what I'm saying? So then he got on the song. The song blows up, and you know what I'm saying? From that from that song blowing up. So Superwoman was out broke, before Can't Deny It. Yeah. Yeah. He got gotcha. a deal. Whatever, whatever. And then it's all that, a blur to me, bro. Mariah, Mariah wanted to work with me because she heard she so was so in love with the Lil Mo song. Mariah wanted to work with me. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "Yo, so I forget. I think maybe um, Tracy Wade was put on. She was like, "Yo, I love you know a song you do with Lil Mo. Let's do a song." And um, and I had always loved the uh, the Stacey Lattisaw, uh sample. From when I was young, I just always thought I, I always thought it was special, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, so that's when I, I like kind of looped it up, put some drums to it, and I brought it to Mariah. And she just loved the idea. That's how mm -hmm. Heartbreaker came about. Mm -hmm. And then I and then and you my go-to guy, that? I called I called Jay. <laughs> Classic. I'm like, yo, I need you on this. Now, I'm trying was, to turn it up. Was it true that they paid him a not only a ridiculous amount of money for that verse? But he wasn't allowed to do any other remixes for a little while after it. Well, I don't know. I know this. Pro I know this. Probably 
there's not I don't know that I can you can look it up yourself. If you go on YouTube and try to play the video, you do not see Jay Z in the video. Mm. Yeah. You well, know I know that, right? why is that? I don't understand that though. Because you know Jay like to own his own on his own shit, so. Mm -hmm. right. Shout out to Jay, he's So beast. for that time period, yeah, he's you know, he, he, the video was out with him in it, but after that, you don't, you like, you go play it now, you you won't see it, it's him in it. That's no, just his voice. Wow. I want to shout out to Sylvia Rome, though, because people don't talk about how she's a visionary. I just seen her last. And she, and, see, and I love Sylvia. Mm. I, I haven't seen you in a minute, but you know how I feel about you. Visionary, and you definitely put money in the young black people's pocket. Facts. Yeah, she a positive savage. Right? Facts. Now, now with the business and the mixtapes, in your in your opinion, the contrast of the two, which one was more important? I mean, I always like. I mean, obviously, being in love with the the music is. That's gonna be always a one, but and I mean, that was that time, the mixtape time. Obviously, you know, what I'm saying that the the business part of it was dope too. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like I was, I met a lot of roadblocks. Let's put it that way. You know, what I'm saying because I was business. like, yeah, like you know, I was doing mixtapes. So like, I wanted to have a pop and shit. So you know, look me. I'm on. I, I looked up in the yellow pages and looking through. I'm trying to. I, I came out with the cassettes like how they had them in the stores now. Like, right. like how to. Record labels had them with the printing on the, on the mm -hmm. actual cassette, right. the CDs. Like, I had this shit moving. And then, fucking, the shit was getting so out there and, and paused big that they called the company who was making my shit and shut it down. Oh, damn. <laughs> mm. Was that Memorex? What was that? No, 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 no. This was a company in Texas who was. Who was like printing up my CDs and my Because you had a tape shit. deal too with, with yeah. like a TDK, tape company. With TDK, yeah, I had, 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 a, had a sponsor deal with TDK. You know what's the funny thing about what you just said? They hating on Queens again? <laughs> Apparently, because uh, Ralph McDaniels had like a similar situation. I can blame that. He said Channel that. 31 got shut down out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's it was right. a hip hop thing though. Wasn't they just trying. Don't. And let me say this. And we straight. Don't you think that that was a way to try to shut the hip hop down and the black people from making the money? Because it was easy. You bootleg them, you shut them down, you shut their channel down. You copy them. How they gonna get money? And then you reproduce them, copy them. How they gonna get money? Mm -hmm. It's 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 simple mathematics, but we couldn't see it because we was living it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So when you're in something. It's hard to really recognize, but now when we can sit back and be like, now we understand what the powers that be, he's gone on. He's only he's the only DJ that's ever gone platinum. Callis yeah. never gone platinum. He got yeah, a star. I think Callum went platinum. He didn't man. go platinum yet. Not on album, no. Yeah, he did. I think he did, right? Yeah. yeah. What album he, he had that went platinum? I, it might have been. Google took years. is. No, no, no. He did he did he did have album go platinum. Yeah. He did. He had one? Mm -hmm. All right, so, two, maybe more than so two DJs. That was it. No two one else. DJs forever that have gone platinum, right? We wasn't seeing that. Cala is 10, 15 years later. We never saw that before. So you saw somebody go from mixtapes, making money on mixtapes, shutting down mixtapes, going platinum on this level. How was we supposed to even signify or even know the powers that be? Tretch was just right here. And we talked about bootlegging. And we said, well, if we were smart, we would have let it rock. You would have let the bootlegger rock and you would have did a deal with the bootleggers. Right. That's how y'all would have got paid for get the label, but we weren't thinking about that. Why yeah. I always say our frontal lobe wasn't developed. And now you got these young dudes that's doing business that we don't really know about business. I mean, We're but, but, but did, did you find it funny? Like, who do you think was responsible for that? I think it was I think it was probably the record companies and the RIA was they was like. Yeah, and they was clamping right, down. Yeah. That's why I had to like fall. Like I had stopped making mixtapes for a while because I was like, yo, was, shit was getting hot. Like and people were getting, I was hearing about people getting their fucking house ran down on and shit. And then the shit was drama. Drama, drama got his house kind of like, When they took was, his mouth off. Did you Roddy? stop before shit. or after drama? Oh, no, I stopped before because I was like, I, I was like, that's not going to be me. And then when that shit happened to him, I was like, damn, it's fucked up. But I was like, yo, I'm glad I stopped. Because I know my name, there's no way my name wasn't at the top of the hit list. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's DJ Clue, they had pictures. Number one. Arrows <laughs> pointing to different connections. They had Doro out there. Let make one more change. <laughs> one more <laughs> red, <laughs> red, <laughs> red string connecting and shit. But they, I mean, but they was, I heard, from right here, they was going buck wild with it. Like, you know, they was making best ofs, like best of Beyonce's and all kind of. Oh, no, drama. Right. Kind of, drama had a factory yeah. going, yo. <laughs> you dropping know. like 10 tapes a week, me. <laughs> all quality <laughs> shit. Like, to be a DJ driving around with a Maserati in 07, that was unheard of. When they put the shit on the flatbed, I'm like, how much units you moving, my I think nigga? it was a Bentley, though, I think. He, I, it might have been multiple cars. It was probably cars. multiple cars. Let me ask you this. He had to deal with T.I. and them back then. Young mm-hmm. Jeezy, Lil Wayne, the yeah, three the three mixtapes he did with Wayne. But um, we was talking, I think a couple of weeks ago, artists only selling 40,000, 30,000 units. And you, you, you one of the first non-rappers to go platinum. Do album sales matter in today's game? I think people, I think they're more focused on. Does it matter? The to sales sell? don't matter because, like, oh. what, like it's streaming. So it's like, right. it's, how's salesman? Like people, the rappers making their money off of, off of touring and shows and mm. shit now. Ticket but sales, wasn't they tickets. always making their money off of touring? But it, but it wasn't. They wasn't getting as much money though. Oh, right. okay. They wasn't doing the, as big of venues. They wasn't getting mm. as much because it wasn't as popular. Mm. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, I right, I'm dropping music because. You know what I'm saying? I, I can a, tour and do a, a big, co- big yeah. festivals and do all yeah. the rest what's, of the stuff. What's the way around that? Is I see um like like Kanye West, he has a STEM player now. Yeah. And he's dropping things exclusively for the STEM players. That's something that you could see going like like being becoming part of the game. I think I think I think it's a good idea, but it gotta be refined. Fleshed out. Yeah, it gotta be. Super clever. It gotta be done. It can't just be. I mean, it could be obviously because he, he did it and made money with it. But right. it's like once you, you know, you got the Spotify's and the Pandora's and it, like they ain't gonna be having. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gonna figure out a way to. They ain't having trying to have you tap into their money. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.